Numerical Computation, Chapter 6, Extra Video Number 1. This video can be viewed after you have finished the video in Chapter 6 on Gaussian Elimination. In this video, we study LU factorization. The factorization is a way of rewriting the coefficient matrix A. Here, we would rewrite A as the product of two matrices, A equals L times U. Here, the matrices L and U are special matrices as follows. Here, L is a lower triangular matrix, and the diagonal elements are 1, and U is an upper triangular matrix. To be specific, we write out the elements of these two matrices. So for L here, all the diagonal shall be 1, and the the lower diagonal are possibly non-zero elements, and they are labeled as L of ij, and this upper triangular part, all the elements are zero. And similarly for this u, and the lower triangular part shall be zero, and then from the diagonal on and up, these could be non-zero elements. We have the following theorem to guarantee the existence and uniqueness of this pivoting. If the A matrix is such that AX equal B can be solved by Gaussian elimination without pivoting, and then we can write A equals L U in a unique way. So once the L U factorization is computed, one can use them to solve the system AX equal B. Let now Y equals U times X. U is, a, U is a matrix, X is a vector, so the product is a vector. Then we have U times X equal Y, L times Y equals B, we see that we need to solve two triangular systems, which are both rather easy. One solve this triangular system first to solve for y, and then one uses y as the right-hand side for the first triangular system and solve for x. Since now both systems are triangular, one only need to perform a substitution procedure. To solve y, we needed a forward substitution, and to solve x, we needed a backward substitution. And we know each substitution takes about n square flops. Now, if in the Gaussian elimination pivoting was needed, then we can have L times U equals P times A, where this P is the pivoting matrix. So what it says is that the product here, P times A, will result in a matrix that would have a unique LU factorization. The LU factorization is programmed in MATLAB. There exists a function, LU, that will compute it. So if one wants to utilize that to solve the system AX equal B, one can do the following. You call LU, send in A, and receive the two outputs in L and U. Then you compute Y equals um, L um, under B. This means it's a solution for L times Y equals B. And then you solve the one for X. This is solving the system u times x equal y. And then this x will be a solution to ax equal b.
Okay, that's all. Hope um, you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.